back to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys how I make a super easy and delicious pineapple upside down cake. This is my kids favorite and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. So in case you guys want to learn how I make them, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so for your toppings you're going to need 6 tablespoons of butter, 1 cup of brown sugar, some pineapple slices but make sure that you keep the juice, and some cherries. For the mix you're going to need 4 teaspoons of baking powder, 2 teaspoons of vanilla, 1 teaspoon of salt, 6 tablespoons of oil, 1 and a half cup of sugar, 2 eggs, 1 cup of milk, 2 and 2 third cups of flour, a half a cup of pineapple juice, and that's the same um, juice that, I'm, that I took from the pineapples, and a half a cup of Greek yogurt. So these are our ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so on a bowl, I'm gonna start by mixing my sugar, my baking powder, my salt, my vanilla, My oil, my and my eggs. <laughs> and of course your Greek yogurt. We're just gonna mix that. Then we're going to start adding our milk. Just gonna need a little bit at a time. And our flour. Okay, so next we can we're gonna add our pineapple juice, and this is the juice that I took out of the um, pineapple slices. So, so just keep mixing it until you see no clumps on it. And that's it for your batter. Okay. Next we're going to use, do our toppings. Alrighty, so once our butter is melted, I'm just gonna throw our, my brown sugar and start mixing it. And this is what we're gonna use at the bottom of our pan. Okay, and then I'm just gonna switch it to my pan here, and I already greased it with um, butter on the sides, and then I could just throw my butter and brown sugar. And just make sure that you spread it evenly. I don't know what happened there, but. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty guys, so once you have your, um, butter, your butter and your sugar spread, we are going to start adding our pineapples. And I'm probably going to be missing some pineapples because my son decided to eat some before I filmed the video. And of course you can use whatever cheap, um, whatever pan you're, you want to use. I normally would put all the um, about nine pineapples in here, but because that's all I have, that's what I'm gonna use. And then I'm just gonna put our cherries. And I like to put a lot of cherries because my kids love the cherries. So that's all, depending on how much you guys wanna add. Okay, so after that, you can start throwing your batter. Just make sure it's evenly. And then I like to tap on it, so, to take all that air bubbles. It's okay, that happens. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna put it in the oven um, at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Alrighty guys, so after you take it out, um, you just poke it in the middle, you know, to make sure that it's fully cooked. And then after that, you just let it sit for about 20 minutes before you flip it over. So I just like to cover it with the foil, like that, and then flip it over. And then just make sure that you tap it just a little bit to make sure that the pineapples and everything, you know, comes off. And then pull it slowly. Alrighty guys, and this is the final result for your pineapple upside down cake. Look at how delicious it looks. All the glaze, sugar, and the cherries, pineapples. Ah, so delicious. Time for the taste test. Oh, Super delicious. Really yep. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. I hope you had enjoyed watching this video. And as always, if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, comment down below what's your favorite cake. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.